Hi, I'm Jordan Levesque, and this is a lesson on how to hijack a PHP session using Wireshark and a Firefox add-on called Grease Monkey. With Wireshark already set up to capture packets in the network, what I'm going to do is log into Facebook on my mobile device. Now that I've done that, we should have captured the cookies that we need. Alright, at this point I've stopped Wireshark. Um, we should have the cookie that we need. So what we're going to put in for a filter is http.cookie. Go ahead and apply that. And... Oh, that's actually the one we need right there. Host, www.facebook.com. And here's the cookie that we need. Alright, so what we're going to do at this point is right click on the cookie, go to copy, bytes, printable text only. Now that we've copied the cookie from Wireshark, what we're going to do is call up the cookie injector script by pushing Alt C, and it's going to ask you for that Wireshark cookie dump. Just right click, hit paste, it'll put it right in there. All cookies have been written. Now right now it didn't do anything, but for it to take effect, just refresh the page. And you're in. <laughs> it's actually telling you, you should probably use HTTPS, and that's for a good reason. HTTPS is an excellent way to protect yourself over an unsecured communications channel. By forcing the website to communicate via HTTPS, your session will be encrypted with a digital certificate, thus giving you decent protection against attacks such as the one I just showed you. In the case of Facebook, the way to protect yourself is to go into your account settings, go to security, and right here where it says secure browsing, what you're going to want to do is just tell it to browse Facebook on a secure connection, HTTPS, when possible. For the sake of this lesson, I have that turned off. Now let's say you want to browse other websites, besides Facebook, over a secure connection. What you could do is navigate to the Electronic Frontier Foundation's website and download their add-on for Firefox called HTTPS Everywhere. And what that does is it forces websites, which have the ability to do so, to communicate over HTTPS. That concludes my quick lesson on PHP session hijacking. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.